In order to set up your class blog, the first thing you'll do is open up a Google Chrome web browser. The site we'll be using is blogger.com, which is housed by Google. If someone has already signed into their Google account, you'll see their name displayed in the upper right hand corner. So to set up your blog, you're going to need to sign that person out and it should bring you to the main screen. You're going to be prompted to put in your email, which is your student number at gpschools.com. For myself, it is my school ID at gpschools.com. And then your password is the password that you use to log on to any computer at school. Once you're into the blogger site, if you've created a blog in the past under this account, you'll see the name listed here. This is my class blog. But if you've never used it before, uh, you're going to be creating a new blog, which you'll click on the left hand side. The first thing you have to do is choose a title. The title is the first thing the reader sees when visiting your blog. You want to choose a name that reflects the purpose of your blog and something that your readers can relate to. Uh, so again, I want you to be able to use this blog not only in this class but going forward into the future. So maybe you want to choose a title that has something to do with science or education in general. But whatever is going to be the most to you and to your readers. So I'm going to title this one. On Mrs. Lee's science blog just to have a different title in there. The next thing you're going to choose is your blog address. This is what people will type in to get to your blog uh, or otherwise the U URL. You should pick something short, easy to remember, and something you can use for several years. If the address you want to use isn't available, you might need to choose a different one or alter your initial address. So if we type in Mine currently is leechemistryblogspot.com and you can see, sorry, this blog address is not available. So I could add a two or uh, another name entirely. Once you found something that is available, you're, you'll see this blue uh, check mark here and you're good with your address. The next thing you're going to pick is a template. The template controls the look and appearance of your blog and it's one way to give it a more personal touch. Like most things in life, first impressions do count. A great blog theme makes good impressions on readers so that visitors are more likely to check out your blog. Overwhelming things are going to distract readers from your blog content and make them less likely to read. Each newly created blog has the same default theme. The last thing you want to do is to look like all of the other blogs. Uh, so I'm initially going to choose the picture window as my template and I've made all my selections and so I'm going to click on create a blog. It may take a moment for everything to configure and then we will see my newly created blog in the list, Mrs. Lee's science blog. Um, now to preview what your blog looks like, you're going to click on the view blog and I can preview my template. If I don't like the template and I would like to change that design, um, you can go back to your main dashboard there and click on Mrs. Lee's science blog and you should be able to alter the template on the left hand side. So this gives you a little bit more uh, view of the choices as well and so if I didn't like my first choice I could pick something new and it gives you a little preview and I can apply that to my blog and the template has been applied. View blog again and I like this one a little better so I'm going to stick with that for my template. At this point you are ready to start blogging. If we were going to do a post at this time you'd click on this little orange icon for create new post but all I want you to do is get your site set up and then click on view blog one last time and I'd like you to copy and paste this blog address either into an email or tweet it to me so that I am able to access your class blog.